Here's how to make real estate content on YouTube that actually is bringing you real estate leads. It's the same strategy that's allowing us to create content 10 times faster and is also bringing us 10 times the number of leads. So make sure to stay to the end because you don't want to miss the final steps. All right, so step number one, select the topic that you want to cover that speaks to your avatar, whether it's home buyers or if it's home sellers. Now, an important thing about the subject, in addition to speaking to the avatar that you want to speak to, is that it has you utility and it's going to allow people to reach out to you to help them with their home buying or help them with their home selling. So we'll use home buying in this example. That topic is speaking to a certain avatar, which are homeowners and has that utility, meaning people that are searching for that type of information are generally looking to buy. So in other words, they're a little bit closer to giving you a call after they consume your content. All right, so now that we have our subject selected, here's how we actually amplify our efforts. Remember, you're a real estate agent and you just happen to be creating content to feed your real estate business. But at the end of the day, you're a real estate agent first, meaning if you're not generating business to your real estate business, then you're not cashing commission checks and you're going bankrupt. All right, so the first video that you're gonna make is an all-encompassing video. This is a video that you're gonna include the works, absolutely everything, which you can title that video, everything you need to know about buying a home. It's that simple. Again, this is that first video that you're gonna create. You're gonna cover everything that you could possibly include in that video. So this first video is gonna take you the longest to curate. It's gonna be the longest because you have to do some research and also you're gonna provide so much information in that one video. So the start's gonna be a little bit heavy. It's gonna feel like you're doing a lot. And here's the reality. Yes, you are doing a lot for that singular video, but don't lose hope because you're gonna be able to leverage that video with the following videos that we're gonna cover. The second video you're gonna make is a video covering 11 distinct points of the home buying process. You can title it something very simple, such as the 11 things you must do when buying your home. Think of it this way. Let's say that first video that you created was you writing an entire book. You absolutely covered everything about that home buying process. So that's your entire book, right? But with your following video, you're going to take certain chapters from that book. It's still the same book, but you're only taking excerpts from it. So you're not going to cover everything in that second video, you're only going to cover 11 points. And now your third video, you're going to do the same thing, except now you're going to cover seven points. And you can title that video something very simple, such as the seven tips of home buying. Now, again, that third video that you're covering the seven tips of home buying came from the same book. So that initial work that you did to create that book the first time, aka that first video the first time, is now a resource and a guide for the following videos. And you keep going. Now you're gonna do the five things, then the three things, and then the top or the most important thing about home buying. So you've taken that one subject where you wrote an entire book and you've multiplied it into multiple videos. So far you have up to six videos. So you have that first video, the everything about home buying. You have the second video that covers 11 tips. You have that third video that covers seven, fourth video that covers five, and the fifth video that covers three, and then that sixth video that covers the top or the best. But you're not done. You're gonna take that same subject and turn it on its head. Now you're gonna go the opposite. Now you're gonna present the counter argument. Now you're gonna present the cons, the reasons not to buy a house. So that one subject that you had about buying a home is giving you seven pieces of content easily. And here's the pro tip. You can do that with any topic. Talk about sellers. Now you can talk about how to sell your house. Do the same thing from a local perspective. Let's say moving to Dallas, Texas. Well, you can provide all of the reasons to move to Dallas, Texas, and then get to your 11, get to your seven, five, three, top, and then your reasons not to move to Dallas, Texas. You got seven pieces of content from one subject. This is the exact formula that we've been able to create content at scale that's meaningful and valuable to the end user. Because let's face it, not everyone is gonna watch your longer video. That everything about home buying, not everyone's gonna have the patience to view it the first time. But they will have the patience to watch your top benefit of home buying or the top reason to home buy or the one thing you cannot miss when home buying. They'll watch that video 
And if there's enough interest after that, they're going to go and watch your actual longer video. So that's how you're able to work all of your content together. Everything feeds upon each other. Now, if you're a real estate agent that's interested in getting into YouTube, check out our link down below. We have a done for you program where we actually do your editing for you, your design for you, your optimization. We do everything.